Um, we're just going to give you a little bit of context and background before we get started because we want the making to be the essence of the workshop today. Um, but a little bit about the Yerba Center for the Arts. We're a presenting institution. We're an arts center. And um, there's a lot of institutionality that comes with working for an institution, especially an arts institution, right? We've got three galleries. We have two theaters. We've got a screening room. We present contemporary art from around the world. Um, and because the institution is situated in the art world, the values um, can be pretty specific. And often for those of us working inside the institution who have sort of an imperative grounding in social justice, that can be sort of funny to navigate. Um, so we all work in the Department of Community Engagement. And the job of CE is to make the contemporary art that we present relevant and engaging to the community. Right? So one of our programs is the Young Artists at Work program, which is a multidisciplinary art as activism residency program for Bay Area teens. Um, as you might imagine, the YAW program has not always been the top priority of the institution. Um, and so we've dealt with, for a couple of years, with being sort of peripheral in terms of the institution. Um, we sort of did our thing with a limited budget and limited capacity. But last year we realized that that needed to change and we needed to innovate our model to make the program more authentic, more meaningful, and sort of weave it into the fabric of institutional life. So we applied for and received an Innovation Labs for Museum grant from EMC Arts. And um, what that meant is that several of us, some directors, some junior staff, some external people with a lot of insight into youth development through the arts, spent several weeks brainstorming, looking at the program that existed, and trying to come up with different prototype ways. Please, come in. Yeah, welcome. So glad that you're here. Um, figuring out different ways to innovate the program prototype some different key strategies. We came up with a new manifesto for why the YAW program is so important to YBCA. We came up with a list of core principles and we started prototyping some new ways of working. So I'm just gonna tell you about two of those prototypes. The first is something called staff integrations. And staff integrations is actually the reason that Ruben and Ben are here with us today. We realized that in order for the youth program to gain visibility among the staff of YBCA, people from marketing, people from curatorial, people from development, we realized that we need these folks to understand the value of having youth at the heart of the institution. So we created four different platforms for any staff people at YBCA to get involved with the YAW program, different levels of, um, of access, of commitment, and of interest. So um, one of those was you can be a mentor. You can um, hang out with a second year youth, talk about life, talk about family, talk about college, this sort of informal person-to-person uh, -person relationship. Two, you could be an artist educator. You could come in and teach a workshop for the Youth Arts Program, maybe related to your job at YBCA if you want to teach a marketing workshop, rad, or related to your artistic practice outside of your job. Three, you could propose a wild card project. Hey, I work in performing arts and I've always wanted to do a day-long dance class festival with the youth as curators. That's an idea I have. Or in Ben's case, I really want the YAWs to produce a video that represents the YAW program to constituencies and stakeholders. Um, so the fourth platform is you could be a project advisor. And um, <laughs> that's going to bring me to um, the second prototype that we're going to talk about today, which is the individualized curriculum and the community-based projects. Um, we took a look at the YAW program and realized that we were having all 25 teens go through the same art as activism curriculum over the course of the year. That kind of seemed like it was replicating the school system, right? To assume that one curriculum works for 25 teens. And so we checked our assumptions and asked, what if we were a real residency program? What if we gave each teen resources, financial resources, space, collaborators, creative inspiration, etc., to design, develop, and create, and realize their own community-based project. So at the beginning of last year, each of the teams met one-on-one -on -one with the staff, and we asked them, first of all, what disciplines do you want to work in? Murals, oil painting, poetry, playwriting, animation, video, installation, and we got all of those different disciplines um, advocated for in terms of the group of 25. And then we asked 
What are the issues that are most important to you in your community right now? What's keeping you up at night? What makes you rage? And so after having identified one discipline and one um, social justice issue to focus on, we then spent the year pairing each YAW with a project advisor to help scaffold the process of creating a community-based project. So I was the project advisor for projects situated in performance, playwriting, physical theater, and things like that. Um, Jova was the project advisor for video projects and installation and sculpture. Robin, or Ruben was the project advisor for murals. I'm gonna do that again before the end of the day. <laughs> and um, Ben was the project advisor for some video documentary projects as well. So rather than having me talk about all these community-based projects, I want the folks who created the projects to give you a sense of that.